we're gonna start off draining the coolant in order to do that at the, in the driver's side I have this cap here um, I'm gonna lose it and uh, with that I'm gonna be able to drain the coolant I'm gonna open the radiator cap to make this a little bit quicker when we finish to drain the coolant we just need to close back the, the cap now we need to take off this cover removing these two bolts are 10 millimeters each since we're gonna remove the intake manifold I need to have as much as space as possible um, because of that I'm gonna remove the, the hood latch which is this one there are three bolts uh, are 10 millimeters uh, also Now from here the next thing is going to be remove this uh, uh, air duct, this part only. There are two clamps, one is this one, one here, a sensor and a vacuum hose. So I will have to disconnect those four things, the vacuum hose, the harness and the two clamps. These are um, a Phillips screwdriver will make the trick or a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna disconnect these holes and this one as well, these two. Okay. There are three harnesses that I have to unplug. This is one two and there is another blue, blue one here that I have to disconnect those three okay. and I have to disconnect these holes from this side from the intake there is a clamp here um, that I have to um, remove first and then I will be able to disconnect these holes I have to do that And with the help of the screwdriver, I'm snapping off the hose from the intake manifold. Okay, this aluminum part here is the throttle body. And underneath this uh, intake, there are two hoses, small ones, that we have to unplug too. Um, and those hoses, I'm going to show them out in the picture uh, now. Under the throttle body, um, towards the front side of the car, there is another harness, a gray one, that I have to unplug. Uh, due to the constraints of space, I cannot show this in the camera, but I'm going to take a photo and show you guys which one it is. And that's the harness that I will disconnect now. Now I'm going to remove the throttle body. In order to do that, I have to remove four bolts, uh, two that are here, and under the intake there are another two. The size of those bolts are 10 millimeters.
and I can show you guys here in a clear way the location of the, the bolts, the layout is one, two, three, four. This is the other harness that I was telling you guys goes under the, the throttle body, the, the gray harness that needs to be unplugged too. Now I'm going to remove the fuel injection rail. Uh, to do that, there are two knots here. Are, the size are 12 millimeters. There is a ground here that I have to remove. The size is 10 millimeters. And unplug this harness here that goes under, under this uh, vacuum hose. The next step is going to be to disconnect this uh, radiator hose and I'm going to do that from the engine block side. The reason for that is because I have to make room to pull out the, the intake manifold. Now in, at this side of the manifold, around here pretty much, but underneath the manifold, there is, there is a harness that we have to disconnect and we have to be careful with that because since it's hidden, it's hard to see it and it could happen that you don't see the harness and then just try to pull out the, the intake manifold and then you will break the wire. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a photo of that harness and the harness is this one that I'm showing now. So um, being careful with a couple of screwdrivers, I'm gonna unplug that harness to keep going with the work. The next thing to be done is to the, remove one, two, three bolts and two nuts here. The size of all of them are 12 millimeters. And once we do that, we should be able to detach and remove the intake manifold. Well, here there is another tiny vacuum hose. We have to unplug that one and let's be careful to, to don't break anything. All right. I'm going to place back then the intake manifold once it's uh, in this space. The first thing that I'm going to do is connect this harness before I even fix the, the intake because if I don't do that, it's really, really hard to connect this one. remove this electro valve it's not letting me put the intake manifold in position I'll, I'll remove it for for just a moment and then I'll place it back I'm gonna place back this valve. As you can see, I had to plug two vacuum hoses. This is one, this is two, which will go here and here. I'm gonna place these three bolts that go in the intake. Um, I'm gonna place them. I already put these two nuts. 
and then I'm gonna like tag all of them. Now I'm going to connect these hose. I'm going to do this now because if I try to do this after, it's super hard to place this hose in, uh, in the right place again. Now I want to place back the injection system. What I'm gonna do next is uh, place back the throttle body. I am not gonna show in detail uh, step by step what I'm doing. It's basically just go backwards. Just as the summary of the connections that goes towards the throttle body, we will have one, two, three, four, five harnesses and two small hoses with coolant. Those are the things that we have to block back to the throttle body and the four um, bolts that attach the throttle body with the intake manifold. Before I move on and finish to install everything that goes here, I'm gonna place this, this uh, radiator hose back now that I have the space to do that. I'm gonna place back this duct that goes to the throttle body to the air, air filter box. Um, after I place this one, I'll finish to connect my harnesses because if I do this first, um, it will not let me work in a more comfortable way to place like this.
I'm gonna place back my, my hood latch. Finally discover since we drain all the coolant the, the final step is gonna be placed by coolant in the system. Well, and with this, we're finishing the video. I hope it's useful for you guys. And if that is the case, I will appreciate if you click on like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.